Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. NFL orders Cowboys Jones to stop talking about anthem, capitulating to kneelers. These days it's easy to tell when football season is upon us. All we need to do is go to any news outlet and look for the words national anthem. Only days after he said to hell with the NFL and he let the world know about his team's zero tolerance when it comes to standing for our nation's national anthem and flag, the Star-Telegram is reporting that Jerry Jones is now back to not talking about the issue because the league forced him to stop. Jones even went as far as to inform several local television stations who had booked him for interviews on their Sunday night shows from training camp in Oxnard. California that questions about the national anthem and his own team's policy were not permitted because the NFL had told him to stop speaking about the matter. As you can see the NFL has once again managed to shoot itself in the foot. Via the Star-Telegram Four days after seemingly defying the NFL and letting the world know about his team's zero-tolerance policy regarding standing for the national anthem, Jones is now not talking about the issue because he has been told not to by the league. Jones informed several local television stations who had booked him for interviews on their Sunday night show from training camp in Oxnard, California, that questions about the national anthem and his team's policy were not permitted because the NFL had told him to stop speaking on the matter. It prompted Fox 4's Mike Dushi to cancel his interview with Jones. Dushi said he was told by the Cowboys' public relations staff that he could not ask any questions about the national anthem at the last minute. He made the editorial decision to nix the interview. Jones did appear on other local channels but without being asked about the anthem. Jones's sudden adherence to league policy comes less than a week after he separated himself from the NFL with his pronouncement of a team-mandated anthem policy of standing to attention with toes on the line or face the prospect of getting cut. That it came after the league's announcement that it had put its revised policy on hold while negotiating a joint plan with the NFL Players Association certainly raised eyebrows. Several Cowboys including quarterback Doc Prescott and running back Ezekiel Elliott, have said they had no problem with Jones's anthem stance because they plan to stand as a team. Players across the league have decried the comments while openly questioning how the NFL and NFLPA can have a meaningful negotiation with Jones already deciding on his team's policy. Philadelphia Eagles safety Malcolm Jenkins, one of many players who have protested during the anthem the past couple of years to raise awareness about police brutality toward African Americans and other forms of social injustice, called Jones a bully on Friday. I think it's unfortunate that you have owners like him that use his position to intimidate and intentionally thwart even the idea of his players thinking individually or having a voice about issues that affect their communities daily, which is unfortunate, Jenkins told reporters. You would think that after the rating debacle that has been happening since they let the third-rate quarterback Colin Kaepernick start kneeling because he wanted to draw attention to himself after he was benched they would have learned. But no, and let's be honest here. No one ever accused anyone in the NFL of being geniuses. The NFL feels as though they need to squash any talk of disciplinary action against the players who kneel while at the same time they seem to feel it's okay for a player to disrespect our nation. The same nation who made their ability to toss a ball around into a multi-million dollar career. And the fans aren't stupid, they know very well that a player who on average makes over $2 million a year has no business showing disdain for our nation, her anthem, or her flag. Here is more on the NFL's new national anthem policy which apparently might be tweaked to assuage the players. Via ESPN NFL owners have unanimously approved a new national anthem policy that requires players to stand if they are on the field during the performance but gives them the option to remain in the locker room if they prefer, it was announced Wednesday. The policy subjects teams to a fine if a player or any other team personnel do not show respect for the anthem. That includes any attempt to sit or kneel, as dozens of players have done during the past two seasons to protest racial inequality and police brutality. Those teams also will have the option to fine any team personnel including players, for the infraction. We want people to be respectful of the national anthem, Commissioner Roger Goodell said. We want people to stand, that's all personnel, and make sure they treat this moment in a respectful fashion. That's something we think we owe. But, we were also very sensitive to give players choices. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.